Hey guys, what's up? So I know it's been a long, long, long time since I've done an Ancestry DNA video. I know I look crazy right now, but I'm like super busy and I have to like get ready and go to a podcast that I'm clearly going to be late for because I don't even know what time it is, but I feel like I was supposed to be there already. Anywho, I just wanted to jump on here and do a little, um, I guess, story time because Okay, so if you've been following my channel, you already know my whole ancestry backstory and me looking for my family. I'm adopted. I was trying to find them and found my mom's side in my 20s. Couldn't find my dad's side. Nobody knew who he was. Did the test. Found my family. Within that, if you go back in my channel, back when I kind of first started, I basically um, helped my adopted sister. I helped my adopted brother and I helped... Um, a few other just people that I didn't know and some people that I did know find their families most were adopted some weren't some were some were great stories some were not some I found some I didn't I freaking love doing it I haven't done it probably in three years maybe four because as much as I love doing it of course it's time consuming and I wasn't getting paid for it and I had to work so I kind of put that on hold and then just got back to regular life and just kind of fell out of the loop. That being said, I'm so excited to tell you guys what's going on right now because I actually wanted to do a whole video on this, showing you from step one till I figure out who this family is. But everything happened so quickly that literally I just got the results yesterday and I'm already like almost done with it. So I was like, screw it, I'll just have to do a story time. So let's get into that. Okay, so this DNA story is pretty cool because it's another one of my adopted siblings. You guys know um, I come from a big adopted family. I have 11 siblings. Uh, no, I have 10 adopted siblings. I'm number 10. There was one more after me. Um, sorry if I'm not looking in the camera because, again, I have to get ready, guys. Um, so this particular brother, we're going to call him... What are we going to call him? We're going to call him Tony. Let's just call him Tony. Um, he's my adopted brother. I love him to death. A little quick backstory. So yes, my parents adopted 11 of us. And unfortunately, it wasn't the best happy ending as most people think it is. Yes, they, um, let's just say they loved half of us, did not love the other half. So myself and this adopted brother in particular were on the other side where we just were not very loved and abused. Anyway, I'm not getting into that, but that being said, because of that, it was very hard for my brother to just accept that, you know, his parents didn't want him, at least that's what most adoptees think. Um, now his adopted parents pretty much don't want him because they're abusing him and he just didn't have the best life growing up. So fast forward, moves out, becomes an adult, has his own family, which is great, but again, just life is life. And some people, I don't wanna say dwell in it, but some people are consumed by it and it can just ruin your life and others move forward and just do something better. So again, it was very hard for me to convince this particular brother to do his DNA and he still didn't wanna do it. So unfortunately, we heard this crazy story somewhere through our adopted family that he might in fact be biologically related to our adopted mother, our adopted mother's family. So that just came out a couple years ago. I don't even know where that came from, but then we all were just like, all my siblings like, what the hell? Like, how is that even possible? Like, if that's true, like then it just made everything much worse because if he was biologically related and he was being abused, it just, again, no kid should ever be abused, biological or not, but it just made it that much worse. So because I am who I am, I could not put this to rest and I had to find out, like, is he biologically related to our adopted parents? Because I need to know, like, I just had to know. So lo and behold, my brother has um, four children. Um, one of them, you know, I'm more closer to, we talk all the time, so I convinced him to do the DNA test. He said yes, I was so excited. I said, don't tell your parent. Contacted a cousin on my adopted mom's side, asked them to do the DNA test so we can confirm or deny, are they related? Thankfully, there are zero relations, so that's amazing. So then I thought, okay, well, there's no relation there. Let me try to do a deep dive to see if I could figure out who your family is. All he was told was that his parents were 
Jamaican and black. I mean, I'm sorry, they were Jamaican and Irish and they didn't want him. That was it. He was adopted as a baby. That's all we knew. That's all we had. Um, they did give him a birth name, but I didn't know what it was. Never asked him. Um, I didn't even know what his complete backstory was because again, I just never asked him. So fast forward, my nephew does a test. His results come back. Literally came in yesterday. He sentenced me at 9 a.m. my time. Literally, probably by lunch, I already figured out so much of his family that I was like, are you kidding me? His results were like literally an adoptee's dream. Like when I say adoptee's dream, like, okay, so I found my family, I found my sister's family, I found my brother's family, like I found a lot of families. And it's very, 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 very rare that you have a super close match. And it could take years. It took me probably two, three years to find my whole family. Um, other people maybe took a few weeks, few months. I was not expecting to see the results that I saw. And thankfully, like, my nephew had like 11 close family matches. Close family matches. Parent. Uh, parent, child, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, first cousin. Those are the main um, close family members, which are the easiest to figure out who your family is. So that being said, he had a half uncle on his dad's side. I was so excited because I was just so excited. Now, I assumed, actually, I should say I assumed it was his dad's side because um, I assumed, again, that his dad was Jamaican and his mom was white. Why did I assume that? I don't know. I just did. So it is what it is. But I assumed right. So that's all that matters. So, of course, this half-brother isn't on social media. Literally, I could not find this man anywhere. He didn't sign into Ancestry for, like, a year. And so I'm like, how am I going to find this person? Like, is this even going to be possible? Like, I just, I don't understand, like, how this is, like, this is going to be hard. So I did a deep dive into the internet. I did the Google image search, like, reverse image search of the um, photo we had, which nothing was popping up. I was searching his name, like literally, like when I tell you, I felt like I was the FBI. I felt like I was the FBI. Found um, another picture, one picture, one picture on the internet of this person. And it was just so not identifying. So I putting those two pictures side by side, the ancestry picture and this picture, like it was like, it could be him, but is it him? I was sending the picture out to everybody and some were like, oh yeah, for sure. Some were like, I don't know. You know, so I said, screw it. I'm going to take a chance, chance. And I um, messaged his business, which I know is really tricky because I don't know if he owns his business, if he's the only one working there, if who's looking at his email. So like that was a little nerve wracking. I did find a Twitter account that he used like four years ago, prayed that he would like look at the message. And then I messaged some other um, DNA relatives that he was related to to see you know what would happen so after that one of the um ancestry people that matched him did finally reach back out to me and say oh yeah i know who that is but still wasn't putting me in contact with him and was like well maybe your brother should test to confirm but i'm like i don't need his dna to confirm because i have my nephew and this is saying it's his half uncle so clearly this is his half brother like whatever so anyway um so I do that. So finally, this person, his half brother responds to me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. So I'm thinking he probably lives in New York because his business is in New York. I'm in California. We're three hours behind um, New York. So after he responds, I send him my number and then he doesn't respond again until like nine o'clock my time. And I was like freaking out, could not go to sleep. Like what's going on? So after I contact him and we talk, he had no idea about my brother. He had no idea his dad had, you know, another child. Um, he said his dad died in 2017. And so he wanted to do ancestry, you know, to learn more about his family, whatever. Um, so it turns out that my adopted brother has five half sisters and a half brother. The half brother was so excited because he has no children. He's in his 30s. And I don't know if he's going to have children or not, but he... I guess felt pressure and so he was like I don't feel pressure anymore because now knowing that I have a brother I have nephews like I'm not the only man left alive in my family so that was pretty cool um but he did ask me to get some more information if I could find stuff out about his mom because I at this point I don't have his mom's information 
um i have kind of a clue maybe but not a hundred percent sure but he's like get whatever information you have i'll talk to my mom maybe she'll remember something and he has some other family members that might remember something so point blank he was happy i'm happy i was like this is awesome okay this is a great start so that was that um his mom's side he had two matches that were matching my nephew as a first cousin one time removed which meant that these two matches were my brother's first cousin matches, both on his mom's side. And so that immediately told me that cousin number one's parent, which was uh, um, her mom, cousin number two's parent, his dad were siblings, which means that one of those, their parents' siblings was my brother's mother. I figured that out. So there's only three possible choices because there's only three sisters. Unfortunately, one has passed, two are alive. We haven't figured out which one is his mother. Cousin number one responded to me. Unfortunately, she's not close to the family. So there's not a whole lot of information that she can give me. So that was like, mm, that kind of sucks type of thing. But yeah, she did know who the three sisters were in theory, but not in real life so that's still a little problem and she also made a comment like that side of the family is just drama and like they're just not the greatest people so then that kind of scared me away so yeah i don't know but cousin number two has not responded to not one message of mine but he did have a public treat so i was able to figure out who his dad was and confirm that um one of his dad's siblings is my dad's mother. So I'm still waiting to hear back from him. It says he hasn't signed on in three to 11 months. So who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I'm just happy knowing that I have three possible names. I'm praying that his parent is the one that's alive and not passed away because then that would suck to have both parents that are not here. But unfortunately, it is what it is if that's the case. So now I contact my brother to let him know because he has no idea that any of this is even happening. He has no idea his son even tested. Like this is all a surprise to him. So I hit him up and I tell him that, um, you know, I had your son do the DNA test. Sorry, I didn't tell you. I didn't want it to be like a secret, but I just had to find out like if you're related to our adopted mom's side of the family. I said it's confirmed you are not related and so he was just so happy and so thrilled like literally it was like a weight was lifted off of him because he was so stressed out and like confused that this was like a chapter closed for him so I was so happy to be able to close that chapter for him and so that was exciting and so then I also confirmed with him, I said, and you know, they were right, you are half Jamaican, half Irish, so that's true. And so, and then I broke down to him that I found your dad, I said, unfortunately he passed away, and he told me about his half brothers, his half brother and his half sisters, and he was just like, wow, like, so like, this is crazy. So then, um, he did ask, so here's the thing, so my brother just turned 49 in February. His half brother is 37. His five half sisters are all older than my adopted brother. So I don't know if these five siblings are full siblings with the half with his half brother, which I need to find out for sure, because I'm trying to figure out was there an affair involved? Was I don't know, are these half siblings and you know the dad just got around because you know the half brother did say that his dad was a rolling stone and you know likes to get around. So that I do need to confirm and hopefully I'll find that out tonight um, and I'll make another video when I update, but I'm um, not 100% sure, but we'll have to wait and see. So then my brother says to me, what um, he says, I, he said, so is the story true? I said, what story? I don't know the story. You have to tell me the story so I can find out. He says that he was told that his biological mother, sorry, I'm like so thirsty. He was told that his biological mother was married to her husband and she had an affair with his biological father. When the husband found out, he gave her an ultimatum that either you give this baby up once it's born in the hospital or I'm going to leave you. And at this time, she's like 20, maybe 21, very early 20s, back in the 70s, like 
it was very hard for women to take care of a, ch a child by themselves let alone this irish lady taking care of a half black child like that just was not really a good thing back then whatever it is what it is so she decided to obviously give up her child and stay married to this husband to me that tells me it doesn't tell me that he wasn't wanted it just tells me she was stuck in a situation that she had no choice in the matter and she was a young person and didn't know she was scared she didn't know what to do so she didn't really want to give up her child um but again so she had to now did the biological father know i have no idea so that's why i'm trying to figure out if if the five siblings are a full sibling to this half brother then maybe he too also had an affair because then maybe that makes sense they both had an affair they had a baby and they both knew obviously well she knew she was pregnant obviously but maybe he did know and agreed this is the best thing to do so we don't break up our marriages i don't know but i'll find out hopefully very soon um so i told him again i can't confirm or deny that until i literally find your mom or somebody close to her to let me know so he said okay he said what about my name what about your name i don't know what your birth name was i have no idea grant you i didn't tell him what his mom's last name was so he says hey you know i don't want to say the name on youtube but he says my name was john doe we're gonna say john doe i said hold the heck up I said, that is exactly the name of your mom's last name. I said, and the first name was your grandfather's name. So I said, clearly she named you after her dad. So that just even goes to tell me that she did love you. She gave you the family name, her father's name. And even though she knew she had to give you up and wasn't keeping you, she still wanted you to have that name. So that to me just spoke volumes. And I was just like, oh my God, I want to cry. Like, this is just so sweet. So yeah. So that to me just confirmed like I am on the right track. I am doing like I knew like I was on the right path, but that just solidified it for me. And so now I just have to narrow down the sisters and um, pray that someone's in contact with them and that um, I hate powder. And if they're not in contact with them, that they at least know their birthdays so I can maybe like weed out who was 20 like 20 to 22 in um, 1973, 74 ish, and then go from there and see. So we'll see. So hopefully she is alive. Hopefully when we find her, she'll get her closure that her baby's fine. And then my brother with closure, you know, he meets his mom. So we will have to wait and see, but I'm just so excited to like be doing this again because this is like something that I love to freaking do. And of course I just wanna keep helping my brother if I can so that's exciting so I wanted to update you guys on that my original plan oh gosh my original plan was to you know do the whole process and record it like I used to do but again I didn't have time to do that because the second I got the results I was just on it and it was just a lot simpler to like figure out it was harder to find the people but it was simpler to you know figure out the timeline of things and stuff like that so i'm excited so the next step now is um i'm going to call the half brother tonight after i'm done with this podcast to find out about his sisters um their full sisters or not full sisters let him know the whole actual story of what i found out about the mom and you know being married and having an affair and all that fun stuff um, to see if maybe he can talk to his mom and maybe she knows exactly what I'm talking about because she, if she was still married to him, then she would know. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then keep contacting that other cousin that I haven't heard from or try to find him somehow, um, I guess, online and keep doing my searches and figure out where he is. Or if he has any children that maybe I can find that can like get me in contact with him. Just gonna keep praying that he goes on Ancestry at some point because I don't know if you have to have a setting or not, but like um, when I get messages on Ancestry, it doesn't alert me to my regular email. Like if somebody messages me like randomly sometimes it might alert me i don't know if, if a certain amount of time has to go by and then answer she's like hey you have a message i don't really know so 
I don't know that algorithm, so I honestly, I can't even say, you know, if he'll ever even get a, an alert that he has a message. So hopefully he does, or hopefully he just randomly decides to check it one day. I don't know, but we will see. But in the meantime, I'm going to start going through his other um, matches that match his mom's side that are maybe more distant, because usually more distant cousins, for some reason, they... um. I noticed they're more like into ancestry and into DNA and doing their, um, and doing, I'm sorry, I can't find something. I'm like, where is it? I don't know. But, um, they're more into doing like the family tree. And so they might have just more information than I can actually get. That would help me a lot. So we will see if they can help me or not but i'm definitely going to be on it this weekend unfortunately i'm on jury duty this week i haven't been called thank god but i have to call in every morning to see if they need me and that's like a pain in the butt so if they don't need me tomorrow you know i do have to get some work done and then um i was gonna just focus on doing more research and contacting people so i don't know i guess we'll have to wait and see what tomorrow brings if i do have to do jury duty that's gonna suck and i'm gonna lose a day and i'm gonna pray that they don't if i do get called that they just don't want me so i could focus more clearly i need more of my hair stuff um on figuring out this whole thing so we will see but i'm so excited i will definitely um keep you guys updated to let you know about his mom his mom's side and um I guess everything else that comes along with this but I'm so excited and I'm excited to be bringing this back to my channel a little bit so now after this I'm really wanting to find the rest of my adopted siblings family but a lot of them are like really hesitant which I understand because I'm adopted too and like I know that fear but come on out of all the people I've been finding most of them are good stories positive it's you know a, a victim of circumstance so we will see and if you're new to my channel you can go back and look at my old videos to see what i'm talking about um update i have not found my half brother unfortunately again it's one of those things that i believe he was probably adopted too and has a whole different name than he had at birth or maybe he wasn't adopted and his mom kept him and she just changed his name i don't know so that's still something i have not found but you guys will be the first to know when I do figure it out. And thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know. You can message me, find me on social media if you need help finding your family. Um, at some point, I do want to figure out how I can not so much make it a business to um, help people, but figure out how to like still be able to do it and still make a little bit of money. And it's not even so much about making the money. It's that to find these people you guys don't really understand that you have to pay for the ancestry monthly subscription which is like 25 dollars a month then you have to pay for the newspaper subscription which is i don't even know what that is a month um and then just to open certain records like everything has a subscription so like all of that adds up and so that's my main concern because i've already found my family so i don't have a need to pay for any of these services anymore so right now i am paying for them because obviously i'm helping my brother but um once i figure out that portion of it and just maybe doing like a maybe i'll do like a donation thing i don't freaking know what i'm gonna do but i do want to figure out how to do this full time and continue to help people because i love doing it i love helping people i just love researching and finding things and finding people and but i also love my family and supporting our needs so um i don't know i gotta figure that out but if you guys have any ideas please leave them below or message me um hope you guys have a great day talk to you later